What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. Heading on over to take on an army of Praetors. And hold up. I just noticed that... Actually, you know what? The chest is probably back there in the workshop. I was looking up at the corner and was like, there's a chest missing. I wonder if they'll be able to find me. As much trouble as I had finding this place, I feel like these exorcists would have trouble just getting over to me. No casting. Oh, she's pretty badass, considering how much she minds. So either velvet. You better be ready. You can tell that Artorius doesn't give a fuck about Eleanor. He's basically like, mm, I can use this bitch to bring the smile back to her. Poor Eleanor is too blind to see that. Praetor Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Your collusion could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. Uh. Like she doesn't even like, she's not even gonna be like, I'm on a secret mission for Lord Artorias. She's just like, man, these guys are dicks. <laughs> Bitch, don't try cast. You've betrayed the people and sullied Artorius's ideals. No, that's not... Hm. Velvet, 
she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! I can't do it. I can't kill them. I'm not done yet. There. Now we're even, Eleanor. You've got new swords! Sinister. I like it. I take it you're ready. Yeah. All that's left is to kill Sigure. With me as a witness. I... I... Keep on fighting like that, and you'll be killed. And if you get killed, Lafayette will lose his vessel. I know that. Velvet, wait. I'm hungry. Why am I waiting? You're... you're not going to kill them? I'm just not that hungry right now. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Understood. I guess that was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you've got that right. Kuro Gane Daggers. Somebody else finished with the bits. Alright. So, you're finished. Swap them around, because he... Oh, wow. Of course, the two that are done are the only two that... Didn't need them. Kuro Gane Daggers. Alright. As much as I'd hate to do it, I'm gonna run back because I know there's a chest. It was good to see he got daggers. I was wondering what was going to happen with that, because I'm like, he hasn't used a sword at all. When he finally unsheathed them, we saw that it was broken, I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. But I was like, well, he's been dual wielding this whole game. Is he going to switch to a sword? And it's good to see him go, no, I will be dual wield master. Sticking to your roots there. Hey, Bien Phil? I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. <laughs> I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier, if that's okay. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel and how to get the cuties? Hey! Keep it down! Keep it down! But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact! Why do you still need either of those books? Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for you. Whoa! You read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner, is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot Spring Topics, bearing your body and your soul. Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about... After bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels. Why do you keep trying to get us naked? I think that would just make things even more awkward. Picky, picky. 
Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking, living long and loving hard, diary of a diary thief, hands speak louder than words. All classics. I remember Dude. reading them when Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something together? We are. We are. Lafayette has been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. <laughs> I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. Oh man. Gotta love the little perverted Moloch. I'm ready for this. Oh, use your move. There we go. Not execute that damn arm. Come on, put up some fight, okay? One four cyclone dot amber paper. Alright, so arts O M. Finally you got four four. And as for you. Oh, we don't have anything else. So let's keep going this way. We'll get that chest. Probably get some interesting dialogue going back to the blacksmith, too. I got a new spear, which will be good because she's probably about to master hers. Now, the long run back to outside. It's just dull because like there's not even enemies around here. It's just like definite silence running. There were some enemies before, but for the most part it's like occasional zombie, occasional rock monster, maybe the station burrow worm thing, but they're not really like plentiful. There are a couple of the previous areas, man, I've had to be been like just juking enemies from the sheer amount that were like trying to crawl up my ass that would not go away. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, there's none. No enemies.
I was debating on going and trying to take down that a dire target, but I'm thinking I'd probably need to be within five levels of it to stand a chance. 21 to 30, even with going back down to moderate instead of hard. I still don't see me pulling off that fight. Don't waste my time. some new boots. All of it need battle boots. No. Did she need those? No. Put on cute shoes. And those are the only... Okay, those are the only ones she has not mastered. Cute shoes. You need fluoric boots. You need calcite boots. Wait a minute. There's calcite boots. Are those ones... She was wearing. So then you can do the calcite boots. Have those. Okay. Give her flurk boot. You can work up the calcite boot. I don't think anybody needs the amber boots, but I'll check. She does. Alright, so I'll keep those. <coughs> uh, Oop. Don't waste my time. There's a soul on your bum. Exorcists getting past these seals. Hey, Rokoro. Why did he call your storm howl a reject? Well, you see, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. 
The head of my clan gets the real Storm Howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. And to Velvet? Which Luffy said is real? And which is the imitation? Oh. What are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorius. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorius so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Uh... Loot down here. At this point, I just want to get out of these damn caverns. Like, it's this is the third episode. Going on the third episode, still in these fucking caverns, man. Like, oh god damn it! Waifu Squad actually works pretty well having Lopsa cast and Magalu cast. And, uh, well, I don't know why running it. around with that spear. Good combo. Oh my god, it never ends! How big is this place? Ugh. This, and then one more, and we're out. I'm tempted to just go back and struggle through that dire battle, just because I know I'm never going to want to have to come back through here. not pick up those cats when I pop down. both use the Rangetsu style. But to me, it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learned the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware, Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> 
His skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, he'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Stormhowl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Stormquell, burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other. One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades. But I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. That's because you dumb bitch. I mean, I will say her character is developing at a fairly decent rate, so... I'd imagine sooner than later, Eleanor will stop being so naff. Just like, no, Artorius wouldn't do things. No, exorcists are good guys. Like, she'll wake up and be like, oh shit, like, we're actually the bad guys here. See it, guys. The exit. It's just ahead. Fucking zombies. My group up. I don't think we have a chance. <laughs> The last zombie set. Calcite string. Alright, so you can put on any of these. Let's give you the amber boots first. The exit is in reach. It's so close. Finally get out. Finally out. So, we're gonna wrap things up here. Finally having made it out of that place. Quick save in. And we will see you guys tomorrow with more Tales of Berseria.